Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today we're seeing the sun, earthquakes, weather forecast for the next several months, an ancient event in the Red Sea, and an excellent archaeomagnetic study using Argentinian pottery. We're starting, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star, and we find it was mostly quiet. Did get one mid-range M-class solar flare, but it was over at the departing limb. The coronal hole turning through, and we've got a sunspot to watch. So let's break that down in a bit more detail. The M-class flare yesterday happened over at the limb. Gorgeous plasma loop, but mostly confined and not aimed at our planet anyway. Meanwhile, the big sunspots have departed while smaller ones dance around harmlessly. There is one new group born at the incoming limb, however, and we're going to monitor that for continued development today. Lastly, in space weather, the filaments have remained stable, which means it's just this coronal hole stream on the way. Forecast to arrive on Sunday and drive minor geomagnetic storm conditions. Couple big quakes of note, 7.4 in the Philippines has killed at least two people, significant damage to structures. And the magnitude of Papua New Guinea keeps tracking upward, another big one at the island there. And folks, La Nina is here now. It looks like for at least the next three months that's going to be the story. It is worth looking up what La Nina means for your location in the northern winter or southern summer areas. Up next, the Red Sea, separating Egypt and Sudan from Saudi Arabia, a thin, volatile, and hotly contested water region. Turns out that long ago, however, it completely drained and evaporated, a major drying event during the Mediterranean crises, and equally devastating, it cataclysmically reflooded from the Indian Ocean. Ancient mega disaster evidence there. Lastly, folks, solid study using pottery from Argentina looking at the magnetic field 700 years ago. They determined that the South Atlantic anomaly wasn't there around 1750 or before, which cuts a knife through the discussion that the anomaly is always there and is not a part of the ongoing pole shift. Oops, then why is it a new feature of our planet in the exact region expected? Pole shift still on the menu. Folks, the winter tour tickets are going fast. Hop on and plan your trip to come to one of our winter locations. All tickets are on the one page. You select which city you want and scroll down to finish. It's going to be an epic masterclass, and we hope to see you out there. This weekend is the Colorado Prepper Expo. I speak at 1 p.m. on Saturday. That's tomorrow. I will be out at the ranch midday today. Hope to see you out there. Major combat training kicks off November at Observer Ranch and then Observer Speed Dating. Sweet spot appears to be that 35 to 55 age range. Direct link below. Find your Prepper Princess or your post-apocalyptic warlord. The film premiere and the final pole shift conference of the year is mid-November. And we greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.